Hi everybody. I thought I'd show off my rain collection system here. I built this uh, a few weeks ago and uh, was inspired by several other videos uh, I saw on YouTube. I'll, I'll post the links to those in the info box. And I uh, thought I'd throw mine in the library here and hopefully uh, uh, my video and uh, some of the other ones will inspire other people to construct their own rainwater collection systems. Uh, what you see here is a four barrel system. These are 55 gallon drums each for a total capacity of 220 gallons. And uh, got a hold of these through a uh, local Coca-Cola distributor here and uh, uh, charged five bucks a barrel, which is pretty good. They were all sprayed out and so forth. Uh, uh, there wasn't any syrup or anything left in there, but uh, I'm not using them for potable water anyway. These are mostly used, or these are entirely used to water our garden. Um, and it's 100% rainwater. So I'll kind of go through what I did here and, and give you all an idea. Got a little over about uh, 14 foot long roof here. I uh, bought this vinyl gutter from Home Depot. I think I spent maybe uh, 15, 20 bucks on all the parts. Uh, it was pretty simple to put together. I did it, uh, did it all myself. I uh, got a little help from my wife. She kind of helped out one end of it uh, so I could put it up. But uh, it was mostly just done by me over a span of about three days. There's your gutter right there. Gutter comes into a flexible downspout. There's a screen at the top of the downspout to kind of filter out any of the larger debris, leaves and branches and so forth. And the water runs down the downspout into a filter basket that I constructed out of uh, an old, or not an old, but a, a cheap plastic flower pot that I bought at Home Depot. Uh, cost me about a buck fifty. I just drilled a bunch of uh, holes in it to try to filter out some other debris that maybe the uh, uh, downspout filter may not have catched. And as you can see in here, I've got some water. I don't know if you can quite see it. It's got some algae growing in it and so forth. I should probably do something about that. But at this point, like I said, uh, this is to water our gardens and is not in any way potable. Um, I can hear. The diameter of this spout, I believe I cut it to four inches with just a roto zip. Um, and uh, it, was, it was a pretty simple operation there. Fit the flower pot strainer on top of it and put this down spout right there. Comes straight down from the gutter, empties into here, fills up the tanks. Uh, the tanks themselves, we uh, had some pretty good rain the past few weeks, which is kind of a surprise here in Texas. We're in a pretty severe drought uh, at this point. Hopefully it's it's starting to let up some since we've had some consistent rain over the past uh, two or three months. Uh, but uh, we did get uh, two inches of rain over a 24-hour uh, span, and it was more than uh, the barrels could actually hold so it was uh, easily able to uh, fill up all these barrels this fourth barrel right here is not too full yet I'm actually going to expand this to uh, two additional uh, barrels going out that away right there and uh, that way I'll increase my capacity I'm gonna take some more put some more gutters on the other side of the greenhouse and uh, and try to catch some more there uh, like I said these are 55 gallon drums and they tie into a manifold system that I came up with um, and um, this is three quarter inch pipe and along the bottom of these barrels, as you'll see in all of the beverage barrels, or syrup barrels, there are some bungs that fit right, let's see if I can get it here, right there, some bungs, you'll see some pipe dope right there, actually it's some, what they call baby shit, which is some sealant, some rector seal, uh, going into a three quarter inch threaded male PVC fitting uh, that goes into a 45 degree elbow. You see it all glued up there. It's all three-quarter inch pipe. And uh, one thing I do suggest is that you do seal up all of the bungs uh, with silicone to keep them from leaking. I, I ran into that problem when uh, I was putting the system together. So the manifold itself, this is my isolation valve to keep this tank right here, the expansion tank, uh, kind of empty. So when I'm ready to go ahead and expand it out further, I can just cut this pipe right here and not have to worry about losing too much of the rainwater. Um, just a straight up three quarter inch ball valve uh, going into the rest of this line right here. This is my ball valve to allow water to escape, which I'll show right now. Got a pretty good head on it. And you can see right there, the rainwater. And it's muddy now. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> the nice thing about this manifold system, I hadn't seen anybody else uh, post this particular method. Uh, the nice thing about it is it ties all of the barrels in, in series and uh, with just one 
downspout, you can fill up all these barrels and not have to worry about moving a hose between each barrel. Um, you know, one of the basic physical principles of water is it always finds its own level. So if you have everything connected in series, no matter how much water is dropping into one tank, it will eventually level itself out in all the other tanks. This means you can distribute the weight of the water and the uh, amount of the water equally among all three barrels. And as long as you have water in this system, there will always be water in the manifold. So you don't have to worry about filling up the last tank. You don't have to worry about daisy chaining. You don't have to worry about moving hoses or anything like that. So this is an advantage in my mind. One connection uh, and no, you don't have to worry about putting any kind of overflow spouts or anything like that on there. Uh, you know, the manifold system is just straight up Schedule 40 PVC. Three quarter inch with the fittings and so forth. I think I spent, you know, 10 bucks on parts. Uh, it was uh, really inexpensive. So if you figure five bucks for the barrels, it's 20 bucks each. And I've got two more to, in my garage I'm going to expand on. So, But for this system, 20 bucks for the barrels, about 20 bucks in all for the gutter pieces. Uh, maybe 10 bucks for the PVC. Uh, I mean, that's this is you know a $50 system, and I've got uh, the capacity for 220 gallons of rainwater, and uh, it's pretty good. What I'm going to do is connect a, a, a hose or actually another piece of PVC to this, have it go into ground, and then run through the ground over here to our garden. And this is my I have it connected to the tap right now my. Uh, drip system but this is the um, uh, expansion part for uh, my rainwater system when I'm ready to do that and as you can see the rain has really helped and so is micro irrigation on a garden and here's greenhouse again it's about a 14 foot long greenhouse get quite a bit of rain from it and um, uh, it looks good in our system so if you have any questions obviously uh, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to address uh, any questions you might have, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm sure that you, if you've been looking and doing your own rainwater collection system, you're pretty familiar with most of the components that uh, make it a successful system. At any rate, thank you all for watching, and I want to thank uh, the entire YouTube community uh, for posting their videos uh, regarding rainwater collection, and um, uh, they were very inspiring. So thanks, guys, and uh, good luck to you. Give me your questions, and uh, check you later. Bye.